Ooh, squirrel. Okay, focus. Hello guys, this is Sandra here. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad to have you here and please if you like what you see, don't forget to press the subscribe button. So today we're gonna dive into my makeup inventory and in the past few weeks I posted all of my makeup collection. So there are two videos, I'm gonna link both of them in the cards below so you can check them out if you want. But today we're gonna just talk about the numbers and see what I think about them. So let's go. I will pop the list of all my items here on the side so you can see them as I go through them as well and let's just let's just see what I have. Before we jump into this video though let me just sort of tell you where my mind is. So in no way shape or form is my collection minimalist and I don't necessarily want it to be. I love makeup, I work in makeup, I play with makeup when I'm not working. <laughs> <laughs> and it is my passion so I don't mind having a fairly bigger collection so just keep that in mind as we go through this although I don't think my collection is too bad but I'm doing this video more just so I can you know sort of look back into it as well let's say in a year's time and see if it's grown if it's shrunk where I'm at and yeah it's just purely because I want to see where it's going from here and it's quite nice to document so when it comes to primers, let's start with primers. I only have six, sorry, I keep looking down here because my laptop with the list is here. I think six is a good number, even considering that not all of them are full size either. So I think that's quite, quite an okay number. I don't necessarily want it to grow, but I don't necessarily want it to be smaller either. Just because on some days I prefer a primer that's more blurring and other days I prefer a primer that's more hydrating so I like to switch it up depending on what I feel like my skin needs that day so I'm quite okay with six then if we move on to under eyes and uh, there are two under eye categories if you see one of them is just purely for concealers and the other one is everything else so an under eye primer an under eye color corrector or even if it comes to like an under eye powder which I only have one but you know, <laughs> it was just easier for me to separate it this way. And I have seven. So out of that seven, I think four are color correctors, which is okay. I have a green one, a peach one, and then a more pinky one. So the pinky one is the Becca one, and of that one I have two. I have a mini travel size and a full size. So I think that's a good number. I have one powder. And when it comes to primers, I have two at the moment. Now, do I need two under eye primers? No, but I'm currently working my way through my Splashbox one because while it's okay, it's not my favorite. So, you know, I think that's an okay number. I know when you see seven, that doesn't seem like such a small number, seeing what category this is. But I feel like it's okay because it contains so many different things in there. And then we arrive to concealers, and of that I have nine. <laughs> now that's a bit of a bigger number, but again, just like with primer, with concealer, I like to switch them around as well. Some days I want something that's a bit more liquidy, other days I want something that's a bit thicker, although generally I don't like really full coverage things. But also concealer is one of those things like with foundation where I like to have different shades because some days I might want to have the same color as the rest of my skin, other days I might want something that's a bit more brightening, so I feel like 9 is an okay number. Do I really need more? No, but I'm always open of trying new ones just because who doesn't like to find new, you know, new bits? And also, most of my concealer collection is quite high-end, the same with my foundation, so I wouldn't mind bringing in a few lower priced alternatives just so I can see what's in the drugstore because that's what I've been struggling with, I think, since I went cruelty free, finding bits that I actually really love from the drugstore when it comes to base products. So while I don't necessarily think that that category and that number needs to go up, I would not necessarily mind it, if it makes sense. <laughs> Hope you're following. Next on my list is setting powders, and that's a number that actually shocked me when I added it up, and it's 10. But I know why it's 10, it's only 7 of those are ones that I'm actually using on my face. 
The other three, if you've seen again my makeup collection, you've seen it in the first one, that I have three from Ben Nye that are loose powders that are not my shade. They are just leftovers from my kit when I use it freelance. So yeah, I just don't want to get rid of those because I keep thinking that I will do all these creative makeups and you know, I want to practice SFX makeup. I just don't have, well, I don't want to say I don't have the time because we're all in lockdown, but you know, those are a bit more time consuming. So I don't want to throw them away just in case I can find some use for them. I would just hate to throw them away. But then that means that also that there are three powders in my collection that add up to this number of 10, but actually I don't use them. Even seven is quite a bit, but mm, you know, I also know that one of those is um, a Becca powder that I use as a bronzer because it's too dark for my skin. So if we take that off, it's six and some of them are mattifying, some of them are illuminating, some of them are loose, others are pressed. Now probably still no one needs that many powders, but I find that the older I get, the more I get into powder and different kind of powders because again, someday I want to mattify, other days I might want to set my face because I know I can get an oily mess in the T-zone, but I don't want to take the glow away and, you know, I don't know. I have a weird obsession with powder, it turns out. Next category is setting spray, and currently I only have three, and one of those three is a small size as well, so actually I wouldn't mind getting more setting sprays. Setting spray is a category that I quite enjoy. Again, there are so many different ones depending on what you want them to do, and at the moment I feel like my collection is quite bare and I don't have that many options to reach for, so actually I wouldn't mind if this category would grow, now, I'm not gonna go out of my way and buy five different ones, but you know, maybe slowly I can bring in a few. When it comes to foundation, I said foundation slash base because some of those are more products that are lightening drops or like a foundation that I keep in there just to darken some of them. But I have 10, which, is it a high number? I guess so. I don't think it's overly high because again, I have different finishes, different colors, and different coverages. So for me, 10 is quite an ideal number. I don't think it should grow. I don't think it should be less. 10 is a number that I'm really comfortable with when it comes to foundations, just because depending on a time of the year or depending on my mood or even how my skin looks like, I change up the coverage, although most of them are more like a light to medium coverage. I don't think I really have any at the moment that's full coverage, but I, I like having a number that's slightly higher just because I like to switch up my foundations. I can get really bored if I use the same things over and over and over again. So I feel like 10 is quite a good number. Mascara. So I have eight mascaras. That's probably a high number. I don't think I need eight mascaras. Um, two out of those eight are colored mascaras. So I have a purple one and the blue one, so that's fine. And then the rest of the six is actually three of them are deluxe or mini sizes. So it's not too bad. And I think one of them is waterproof as well, but no one really needs eight mascaras. So that number could go down without me being fussed as long as at least I have two and one of them is like my favorite. I think mascaras I'm fine with. Am I fussed that I have eight? Not really, but does anyone need eight? No, no one does. And next up, cream shadows. And this shocked me as well, I'm not sure why. I have 10 here. I didn't really think that I have 10. I don't, I don't know, that shocked me a bit now. Cream shadows I have a love-hate relationship with. I love having them, but then I don't really use them. I'm not sure why, I just, I just don't. Now I think when it comes to cream shadows, I, yeah, later on I will have shadow sticks as well. Obviously those are creamy as well. They're just a slightly different formula, so I don't I think I need 10 cream shadows, but cream shadows are the one category where if I look around online and I see something, or even in store, I just swatch it and it looks so nice and then I, you know, I just get sucked in. And then I don't use them too often, but they are just so beautiful, so I want to make myself a promise that I'm going to use them. Do I need more than 10? I don't think so. And the problem is, like, I know myself, this won't necessarily stop me. I don't, yeah, I don't need 10. I don't use them too often, unfortunately. I really love them though, they're they are beautiful. And you know, when you swatch them and you just see all that color payoff, but then 
yeah, I just usually reach for powders. I don't know why. And then some of them don't really work as primers either, so there's not that much use for them. But eyeshadow is my vice. And maybe lipstick. Those two. <laughs> Then liquid shadows, and I think when it comes to liquid shadows, I counted things like the Stila Glitter and Glows, or like the um, what's it called, the Urban Decay Moon Dust liquid shadows. I only have four. I'm not gonna explain a lot about that. I'm happy with that number. And then we come to shadow sticks and primers. So I have twelve. Mm. To be fair, most of my shadow sticks are coloured ones, mostly from Ilamasca, so they have nice... They're not that slippy, they're a bit more sticky, so those actually work quite nice if I want to give my eyeshadows a nice vibrant base. So it works perfectly if I use like baby blues or yellows, or some of those colours that are otherwise maybe not as vibrant. So I'm not too mad with this number, but it's a bit shocking. But then again, I have to remind myself that it's sticks and primers. Eyeshadow primers, oh, I don't have that many. I think I only have two from Urban Decay, so I just need to make sure I get enough use out of them. But I think there's definitely a category that doesn't need to grow, just because I don't reach for sticks that often either. So I, I think that can stop at 12, which shouldn't really grow. And then eyebrows, I have 10 products, and in this one I counted everything from eyebrow pomades, to pencils, to brow mascaras, so I think that's a good number. Lately, I was in a bit of a kick and I bought a lot of like eyebrow gels. Why? I don't know. I just got sucked in. I really am on a kick trying to make sure that my eyebrows look better than they are at the moment. They are quite a different shape, so usually I struggle making them even. I think that's why I've been on a kick. I don't really need more eyebrow products, but then whatever will help me make my life easier in the mornings with my brows and make them look better, you know. I will be happy with so it doesn't really need to grow but if it does that's fine. Another category that slightly made me pause a little bit is glitters and pigments because it turned out that I have 19 and who needs 19? Who needs 19? Especially with pigments you only need the smallest bit and yeah I have pigments that I had for years and I barely made a dent in them and to be fair, I don't reach for them that often. Now, glitters are a slightly different topic, but when I reach for glitters, it's more in a liquid form, not necessarily separate ones. So again, the problem is that I'm a magpie. Every time I see something, I'm just like, ooh, with glitters, it shines, I want it. But then I don't really use it. So again, that's a category I should put a ban on because I don't need it. I don't need more, I, I really don't. If something doesn't look the same, I'm really sorry, my camera was running out of battery, it happens all the time, <laughs> so I'm sorry, hopefully it does look the same. So, next category, single shadows. So eyeshadows are something that I said before that are my vice, and I feel like, you know, I can have so many, it doesn't matter, they don't expire that quickly, and they're all these different textures and colours and brands and finishes and, yeah. I get sucked in really easily to say the least and that's why I have 38 single shadows. Now I would like to say though that some of those used to be palettes before. So let's take for example my Urban Decay Naked 2, I depotted that one, then I had a sleek, sleek palette that was called Oh So Pretty? Yeah, Oh So Pretty and I depotted that one too. I don't know if there's anything else, probably, but I can't think of it now. Oh yeah, I used to have a Benefit little palette in like a box as well, I depotted that one too. So there are quite a few palettes that I depotted that I count in this category just because they're not in a palette anymore, but in my Z palette, or Z palette, whatever you want to call it. And that adds up to 38, I don't think it's a bad number. Quite a few of them are singles as well from like NARS and Charlotte Tilbury and all that, so I, I'm not mad at that number, to be fair. I'm, I'm looking there because they are there, even though you can't see it. But I don't think that's a bad number, so I'm okay with that. Again, eyeshadow is a number that I'm not too fussed by just because I love them so much. Next category is tinted balms, and I have a separate little drawer where I have all my tinted lip balms, and nine is probably a bit too much, but yeah, if I'm honest, I probably don't need more tinted balms. I wouldn't be too fast about this number. If it goes down, great. If it doesn't, fine. Now, it, I don't think it needs to grow though, definitely not. I 
don't use my tinted balms too often. If I want to make my own tinted balm, usually I just use a balm that has no colour and then dab a little bit of lipstick on top of it. So I definitely don't need more tinted balms, for sure. Then liquid liners, I have nine. And in this category, I counted all my... I don't really have any black liquid liners. I have one, which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which I counted in this category, just because I don't have any more felt-tip liners like that. But all the other liquid liners I have are either like a neon color or they are just nice and glittery. So I'm completely fine with this number. If I could get a few more as well, I would not be mad. I love the Urban Decay Heavy Metal liners. They are so beautiful and I'm really getting into cut creases lately, even though that's not what I'm wearing today. But I feel like those are perfect to go with them and also sometimes what I like to do is to take them and then just apply it in the inner parts of the lid and give them a bit more glow that way. So if that number goes up, that's fine with me. Gel liners I have eight from and I don't think that number needs to go up especially because I have other little bits like the... Oh, that's it, the Illamasqua Jura line. That's the one. My brain, it's not working. But yes, especially because I have bits like the Illamasqua Jura Liner or I have bits like the... No, the Illamasqua Sealing Gel or the Inglot Jura Line. That's the one. So, because I have bits like that, basically I can turn any of my eyeshadows into a liner. So I don't think I need more gel liners, but to be fair, out of all of them I have a brown I have a black and all the other ones, so technically all the other six are coloured, so I have like a white one, a red one, a blue one, so you know, I'm fine with that, I don't mind having eight, but I definitely don't need more just because again, I have all those mixing mediums that I can use to create liners, I also have one from NYX, so I definitely don't need more, I don't think that number should go above eight, because they are so hard to go through and when you have mixing mediums, that means that all the eyeshadows that you have you can turn into a liner so i don't think i need more gel liners at all although at one point that was all i used to do my little flick but nowadays i don't use them too often so i think that number is another one that should stay where it is it should stay at eight and not move on okay hopefully the lighting is not too off it keeps raining today and then the clouds come in front of the sun so it's a bit hard to maintain but hopefully it's not too disturbing so, where were we? Eyeliner pencils. So, when it comes to eyeliners, I have 15 and I feel like that's a good number. I have one black, one nude and the rest of them are quite colourful, which again, I enjoy. I feel like I get a good use out of all of them as well. So, for me, 15 is a good number just because I keep using them and I feel like even if you do a really easy eye look, an eyeliner can be an easy way to spice it up and give it a bit more colour. So 15 is a completely fine number with me. And then lip liners is 20. And if you've seen my collection, I never really realised it before, but most of my lip liners are either light pink or nude. So I wouldn't mind if this number fluctuates a little bit, whether it goes up and down. I just want to make sure that the next time around there's a bit more variety in it. Because I feel like if I look at it now at the moment, it's really one-sided. It's a light pink or renewed. And, you know, there's like maybe a red and like a darker color. But the rest of it is exactly the same. So I wouldn't mind if this number moved either way. I just want to make sure that it's a nice, colorful mix. Rather than just repeating the same color scheme. I mean, I'm happy with my collection, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like I could use a bit more variety and I'm too dark again. Oh my god. Okay, hopefully that helps. Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts by the end of this. Next up, we have bullet lipsticks. And let me tell you, that's the bit that shocked me the most. <laughs> I have 53 lipsticks. And while I love lipsticks, I don't need this many. Oh my god, if you can hear the rain, I'm so sorry. It was just a little pitter patter before and now it's full on pouring down. So I'm, I'm sorry, I will try to edit that out and make sure you can hear it. Bullet lipsticks are definitely the category where I have to tell myself no. Don't buy more, you don't need more. Especially if you take into consideration that I also have liquid lipsticks and lip glosses 
and lip whatnot like sticks and all sorts of bits other than bullet lipsticks. I got so worked up I can't even talk. <laughs> but yes, this is the category where I really have to put my foot down and tell myself do not buy more bullet lipsticks. I have no more space for them in my collection and even though they are not all full size, I would say about 90% of them are. So I have to tell myself not to buy more, I don't need more, you know, they go bad before I can even use them and I just, I just don't need more. I really, really do not need more. 53 is way too much for one person, I only have one pair of lips and especially most of them are quite long lasting as well, I was trying to think how many of them are matte. But even when they are not matte, like this one from Milani, is still freaking long lasting. I had food in this and it's still on. So I don't need more and that's a category that if it goes up I'm gonna be quite angry with myself because it shouldn't. It should not go up. If you see me buying lipstick, please tell me off. I don't need it. Just tell me that I'm stupid. <laughs> Thank you. Next up after the bullet lipsticks that a shocking number we move on to liquid lipsticks lip velvets and lip powders so lip powders i have one from essence and like two from l'oreal i don't use them too often but you know i already have them and this is definitely a category all three of them that i don't use too often just because i find them quite drying and i keep pushing my lips together and it annoys me so i definitely don't think this number should go up i do get tempted though because there are so many formulas out there i haven't tried yet but because I can get long-lasting formulas in bullet lipsticks too, this is not exactly something I reach for often. So again, I don't think that's a number that should move up at all. I'm not that... I'm not saying I'm not keen on them, but usually it's more the colour that brings me in and lures me in rather than the formula. So I definitely don't think I need more than 17. That's more than enough. And then we move up to chubby sticks and pencils. So when I say pencils, I think about stuff like let's say the Bobbi Brand Art Sticks that's like more like a, no, it's like a chubby stick, but it's not creamy, it's more of a pencil formula if it makes sense. I'm sure you used them before. So that number is 10 and I'm okay with that. I remember there was a time where all I used to use were these chubby sticks, I think a few years ago. If you think back, I think it's around four or five years ago, if you remember all the rage were these chubby sticks, whether it was from Clinique, whether it was from Bourjois or Revlon had loads as well that I loved. And again, this is a number that I'm quite content with and I don't think it should grow just because I don't really reach for these anymore. And to be fair, you don't see them in that many places either. I feel like they had a time frame a few years ago when they were really popular, but no one is really putting out chubby sticks anymore when it comes to lip products at least not the brands that I'm buying from, so I don't think the temptation here is big anyway, but I definitely don't need more. 10 is a good number, it should not go up. If anything, it should only go down. We arrived to lip gloss, and I have to say, I thought I have more lip glosses. I mean, 19 is quite a high number, don't get me wrong, but for some reason, I thought I have more, and I don't know why. I think it's because lately I'm getting a bit more into lip gloss, so I quite like applying my lip liner, then I go with a lipstick, and then to bring in a bit more of that dewy, juicy lip effect, I like to apply a little bit of lip liner. So, lip liner? No, Sandra. Lip gloss. So I'm fine with that number, but at the same time I don't think it should go up because I can't go through that many tubes of lip gloss. So I think, again, lip gloss is a thing that I have to tell myself not to buy, even though I enjoy them lately, but, you know, those 19 tubes will take me a long time. <laughs> A long time. We're almost at the end, so hold on, we're almost there. Next category, we're arriving to powder blush. And again, that's a number that surprised me, 21. How I got to that number, I don't know. Especially because I have separate complexion palettes category. So all this powder blush I have is singles. And when I look into my drawer, I see quite a lot of highlighters a few bronzers and then a few blushes. So for me, seeing that it's this high of a number, like 21, why do I need 21 blushes? <laughs> and I know why that number went up as well. I think it's because when it comes to, let's say, you know how Benefit each year releases a box around Christmas that's called like a Chica Fun palette or whatever they are called. I had one of those a few years ago. 
and I only use up Hula from there and I still have all the other five separately depotted just because that packaging was too chunky. I have no space for it. <laughs> so I depotted that so all those five count towards it as well and I think that's why I don't see it in my drawer because I have it depotted in a Z palette or Z palette, whichever. So I think that's why I don't realize how many I actually have. And then I also have a few from, I think I have one from like Makeup Geek and a few from Cryolina and Bits that are again in a separate Z palette tucked away in my drawer. So most of the time I don't necessarily see them with my single blushes. And although I love blush, again, that's a number that should be banned from going up because I don't need more blushes. Blushes are really hard to use up and I definitely don't need more. I just, I just don't. Again, if you see me buying a blush, tell me off, at least if it's a powder blush. If it's a cream blush, I think we're fine, but we're gonna get to that later. We are smoothly then arriving to cream and liquid blush. And I only have nine, so I feel like that's a good number. I mean, they're quite hard to use up and I didn't notice I have nine, but it sort of makes sense if I look around in my collection. <laughs> But again, that's a number that it can go up, but maybe just by one or two, because I definitely don't really need more than 10, I would say. I mean, I probably don't even really need nine, seeing how many powder ones I have, but I feel like powder and cream... But I feel like powder and cream blushes go quite nice together, because you can put the cream one down first, and then if you want to make it super long lasting, you can put a powder on top of it, and it just sort of sticks it together if it makes sense and I quite layering them that way so I feel like they go quite nice hand in hand but yes if this number goes up by one or two I'm not gonna be too mad but it shouldn't go up too much because they take ages to go through so maybe it can go by one or two but no more next we are getting up to bronzer and this one surprised me because I only have eight and I'm saying only I know it's quite a high number, but for some reason, in my mind, I thought I have a lot more. But I think, again, it's also because I have face palettes and usually, you know, some of them have quite a few bronzers in there or something. So I think that's why in my mind I thought I have more. And eight is a number that I'm okay with. I would not necessarily want it to go down because, again, this girl likes variety. But then it doesn't necessarily need to go up either, but if it goes up, I'm not going to be mad. Now, I don't think it should go above, let's say, 10. Because, again, it's a bronzer. I only have one face. And I feel like recently I really got into bronzer, but then I still really love my blushes. Clearly, as the numbers show. But, yeah, it's a number I'm okay with, and I'm not too fast if it goes up by one or two. Obviously, I don't want it to go above 20, because I feel like that's way too much because whereas with blushes you can have a lot of variety, with bronzers there's only that many, you know, that many colours you can add in. <laughs> so it shouldn't go up too high. Next one, powder highlight. And um, I somehow have 17. <laughs> that really, really shocked me. I don't know why, to be fair, if you look at my collection, some of them are minis, so it's not too bad, but then again, how much highlight can one need? Not a lot. And um, um, I have a lot. <laughs> I I quite like highlighters. If you look at my drawer, I have most of the shades from Becca. I have a few from Mila Masca. I have a few from Too Faced. I have the Balm one. And then I think I have a few, quite a few from the drugstore. I have like two rainbow ones. No one is two rainbow highlights, but well, I have them. I got sucked in again. Keep in mind, I'm a magpie. If I see something shine and glitter, I will buy it. So, I think the numbers show it clearly. Do I need more highlighters? No. Can I promise though that I'm not gonna buy more highlighters? No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. And then on top of that, I still have liquid and cream highlights too. So 17 was only my powder highlights. And also keep in mind that doesn't include face palettes. So on top of the 17, I also have seven cream and liquid highlighters, which I think is a good number. So I'm not too mad at that. Do I need more? No, but I feel like with liquid ones, you have a lot of liberty because you can mix it in with your body lotion and then use it on your shoulders or your legs in the summer or on your decolletage. You can mix it in with your foundation to give you a more luminous finish, or you can add it first under your powder ones so you can amplify your glow. So I feel like liquid highlighters are really versatile. Cream ones, 
not so much but they are still really nice i don't have that many cream ones though i think i maybe have two or three and that's it so i feel like seven is a good number it doesn't really have to go up but it i wouldn't want it to go down either or not like i wouldn't want to but you know i'm not mad with that number it's just a bit crazy when you think i have 17 powder ones and i have seven liquid ones on top of that but let's just move on now we arrive to the last two category so next one we have complexion palettes that i already mentioned quite a few times so this includes like let's say my tom ford palette that has eyeshadows and cheek products in there i have one from ila masca again has eyeshadows and cheek products in there i have a blush palette from revolution a highlighter palette i think from sleek then i have the pro highlight and contour palette from nyx so all those sort of palettes are in this category and I only have eight. So I feel like that's okay. I feel like eight is a good number. It's not too high, it's not too low. Now I have to think though that these contain a lot of products that probably I'm not gonna go through in my lifetime. But then sometimes I do use them as an eyeshadow as well. So I try to make sure that I multitask them so I can get enough use out of them. The ones that contain both eyeshadows and cheek products are quite good for traveling as well, especially because most of them have like a decent size mirror in there as well. So eight is a number that I'm okay with. And then we arrive to my last category, which is eyeshadow palettes. And I have 26. I think when you look at eyeshadow palettes, it's quite a personal viewpoint to say that 26 is a lot or not. When I look into my drawers, I don't think I have way too many, but then I also, if I think about it, <laughs> I know that realistically, that's a lot. Does one person need that many? No. But as I mentioned, eyeshadow palette is my vice. That's something that I love to play around with the most. I don't think I'm, I mean, I put this lipstick on today because I wanted to switch it up a little bit, but I think most of the time I might not switch up my blush or my bronzer. Well, no, my blush I do, but I might not switch up my bronzer. I might not switch up my lipstick, but I will switch up my eyeshadow. If you've seen any other videos on my channel, just at least look through my thumbnails. You will see I use loads of different eyeshadows. I create loads of different eye looks. So for me, 26 is a good number. And if it goes up, well, that, that means more playtime for me with eyeshadows. So I think 26 is okay. And if it goes up, well, it goes up. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Again, everyone has that one wise and mine is definitely eyeshadow. Even though if you look at my collection, you probably think lipsticks. And I think it's because it used to be lipsticks and then it moved over and became eyeshadow for some reason. You know, we all change. And I counted and all together the total number of my items is, is 402. But when I counted 402, I did not count like individual pens. So when it comes to like an eyeshadow palette or like a face palette, I did not count individual pens. It's more just sort of per item, if it makes sense. And it's 402. I think that's an okay number. I'm so sorry, the light keeps changing in this video. The weather outside is just crazy. But I feel like 402 is not too bad of a number. I know that in the past it's been a lot smaller. If I think realistically and my makeup purchases is probably going to be more as well in the future. But at the same time, again, if you looked around on my channel before, if you've seen all of my videos, you know that I do quite a few project pens as well. And I have series like my Use Them Shadows when I make sure that I rotate through my collection. And... For me, that's an okay number, but let me know in the comments below, do you think that's too much? Do you think it's okay? Do you have more? Do you have less? Let me know. But that was it really for today. Again, this is just a video that I wanted to do just as much for myself as for you lovely people out there. So I can sort of keep track of what I have and I can look back into this next year and see where my collection has gone from this. And I just love watching these videos and see what people think. I feel like most people who film these makeup inventory videos film it because they want to go a bit more minimalistic with their makeup. It's not necessarily my goal, I just want to see where it, my collection goes from this. I think it's just quite an exciting experiment and, you know, I would say if you're a makeup lover, write it down where you are now and then, you know, try to keep that paper, maybe you can write it on your computer like I did. I just put it all in an Excel sheet so it's nice, it's there, it's easy to follow and then next year I can come back and see. I think it's quite nice as well to 
see sort of how your makeup purchases change throughout the year because obviously when I was younger, even though I loved makeup, I did not have the same budget at all to spend on this. And also, I did not work in the same beauty environment that I do now. So, you know, now as perks of my work, I have a few more discounts, but also my family now really knows that, okay, it's not a fleeting hobby. I do love makeup. So now if I say that I want something, then they are more likely to buy it for me as a present for like birthday, Christmas, whatever. So that definitely adds to why my collection is growing at a rate that it is growing because I know that let's say two years ago I had half of what I have now. So it's just quite interesting for me to track it this way. But that's it. I'm gonna go now. So please let me know what you think and how big is your collection and also, you know what? Let me know what is your favorite category when it comes to makeup. Again, mine is eyeshadow. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's clear <laughs> from the numbers because, well, 26 palettes and then quite a few singles. And I think more than half of them I bought in the last year. So yeah, mine is eyeshadow. What, what is your favorite category? Is it lipstick? Is it primers, foundation? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you enjoy my content. Or if you already subscribed, please ring the bell button so you're notified every time I upload some video. And for now, I'm gonna go. I hope you have a lovely day and bye-bye.